So I'm David Gibson. I'm back with another week of Get to Know the Athletes. And this week is the Bishop Brian Lions. So let's go get to know some of these players. Y'all y'all been playing varsity for a while. You know, how did y'all get the, over the first, you know, butterfly when you first started playing varsity when you were younger? Yeah, I remember it was, I think, my sophomore year. We, my first game going in, starting at least, and I was nervous out of my mind. It really helped having some, like, the older guys, like the seniors before me, kind of just calm me down, tell me that it's going to be all right, and tell me that we're going to win this game. Yeah, it, at a young age, it was tough, but I mean, we just had older kids that had that experience to keep us going, keep us into the thing, and um, having the experience at a young age helps us now because, I mean, we've been doing it for so long, and it just feels normal. It's just playing with your friends. You don't get much, many butterflies when you're playing with people you trust. What kind of NFL player do you feel like you model your game after? Oh, that's it's, um. Offense or defense? Both. Well, defense. I like I like to watch Deion Sanders because I mean he's got the same last name as me and he's just a good player. <laughs> but on offense, I feel like I mean probably like Drew Brees because I mean I'm not like a guy to escape. I'm more read the defense and pick him apart. He's well. Last game against DOB, I said how I felt like Devontae Adams before the game, so I'd probably have to say Devontae Adams. Why? I don't know. Something about him, his route running, his speed, it's just, I've always aspired to be a great route runner. I like Adam Thielen. Just trying to run good routes and catch every ball I can. I like Adam Thielen. He's a undrafted uh, free, free agent picked up off the practice squad. I mean, he worked his way. He went to a Division II or a, a low college. I mean, and he just worked his butt off until he got to the practice squad and then made some plays and got up onto the, the big stage, and now he's now he's balling. Uh, who's the most under, underrated teammate you have? My most underrated teammate's got to be probably my center, Bram Johansson. That kid is probably one of the most athletic linemen I've ever met in my life, and he's an hilarious guy to be around on the field with. He's a funny, he's a character, he's just, just a good dude. Uh, I'd say Bryson Elm, honestly. No one gives him credits for all my long runs. He's always out there on the blocking those DBs, but giving me that outside to run. I gotta say it's him. Uh, all the spotlights on Jackson, Nick, myself, uh, Zach, and Bryson are skill, are skill guys. But we we wouldn't be able to do anything without the line. And they're, I mean, they're they're all juniors besides Cutter. So I mean, it's not they don't have that much experience. But I, yeah, I'd say the line is. Nice game day. What's your go-to song? Ah, uh, game day. It'd probably have to be Many Men. But, and it's just a really good song to get me pumped up and get ready. Blue Notes by Meek Mill. Blue Man by 50 Cent. Blue Notes by Meek Mill. What, whatever quarterback Nick Sanders plays, he's got he's got the playlist. He plays it every game day. They're all good. Uh, who's the craziest teammate you know? Craziest teammate? Bram Johansson, by far. Funny in a different way. Bram's funny in being stupid. Logan's always cracking jokes. Bryson and Jackson are always cracking jokes. I don't know. Wait, Bram, Bram Johansson, I mean, just comes up. Some of the things he says, it's kind of like, well, what are you thinking about, dude? And I mean, some of that, some of his actions are kind of unexplainable, too. I think me and Zach, on a, on a good day, me and Zach, if we're clicking, I don't know, we're just weird, but. I guess I'd say Zach and I together. Who has the best swag on the team? Jeez. Best swag on the team? It's probably got to be our QB, Nick Sanders. He's just always got the swaggers, always talking trash. He's just always got it. Probably Zach Hendrickson. Man, man got drip. Best Coach Coleman impersonation. Oh. <laughs> what? What teammate would you give your keys to your car without hesitation? Uh. Probably have to be Logan Merck. I mean, I just trust the kid. He's been there since my sixth grade year, and I just built that relationship with him. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Not Jackson. Uh, probably Logan. He wouldn't do anything dumb with it. Be Bryson Elm. Why, man? I trust that man. I don't, I don't think he'd do anything stupid in my car. Bryson. Why? Bryson, he's probably my best friend. He's a trustable guy. Playing sports, what would you do? Would you do band or what? I would probably, probably find a job somewhere. I'd probably get work, chase that bread, and get that money. Probably um, either sleeping or hunting and fishing, being outdoors. I like the outdoors, so. Working, making money, planning the future. 
Wow, that Jackson Feller Coach Coleman impersonation, it was my favorite. I was laughing really hard, but you couldn't hear it because I cut it out the segment. But we look to have more of these in the future.